Maddie, let's pour, baby. All right, we got all situated, guys. Spent all day yesterday preparing for this day. Got water up here. Got my concrete mixer. Got my concrete. Got my wheelbarrow. Get it? Wheelbarrow? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna mix and just dump in here, and then I'm going to um, deposit the concrete into these forms. I didn't record doing these forms, so um, let me catch you up on things. This is the form for the root cellar entrance. So I just kind of made it out of the stuff I've had laying around, like all that stuff, the extra wood from, um, you know, doing the, uh, doing the sheathing and doing the siding from this. So thing's super solid. It's nice and level. It tapers out just a little bit in the front here in case water hits it, it would come out this way. But the plan is just to, uh, get some concrete in here. We're going to pour right through here over this rock and then over that way. Um, and then after that is cured for a day or two, we're going to come in and put two courses of block here and just a little bit that way on each side. And it would give you kind of a finished product of up to here. So then can you stop? What are you crying about? What are you crying about? No. There's nothing in here, girls. Come on, go hunt. Go ahead. Go. Okay, so if you count up one, two, two courses of block, that would be the top of the wall. These things are going to tie to the block, so we'll be able to slide the blocks over. And then we're going to have J bolts. There's going to be a bottom plate. And then we're going to frame up a wall, not all the way. That would look silly, but about like halfway up on this wall, a little lean to roof this way. And on the front end, there's going to be a door. I think I'm actually going to have it open in. I know that's kind of weird, but I don't want an opening out door. Um, I just don't like the way that open outdoors look, particularly. I like when they're set in. So it will hang over these steps, and I position these steps so that they're evenly spaced and lined up nicely with the wall there. So this is our root cellar entrance. So let's get mixing. We're going to pour this in. We're going to let it cure. And uh, yeah, we'll take it to the next step after that. There's some gaps here. I don't know if I'm in camera here, but there's some gaps where when I pour, I don't want it really leaking out into the rock um, in the front here too. So what I'm going to do, I don't even know what you call it. It's kind of chinking. And I dug up some clay yesterday, but it was really dry. So I added some water to it and now it's pretty malleable. I put gloves on. I don't really care about dirty hands, but this stuff dries out your hands so fast. It's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna shove this in here and work my way around and just do that. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's just gonna block the concrete from sneaking its way through. This is a quart, 80 pound bag. I kind of broke that one, whoopsie doopsie. Look at that guy, isn't he cool? I want to hang out with that guy. Um, okay, two pints is a quart, six pints per bag, two quarts, two quarts is a half a gallon. I don't know why I'm saying all this. Wow, I could pee faster than that, dude. Oh dear. Anybody have to pee? You can go pee. Go ahead. When you get back, I'll be ready. You know, I could probably... Let's do it this way. There we go. That's a little quicker. Two. Three. Three quarts is six pints. So let's, I think I do two bags at a time in there in that mixer. One, 
All right, let's draw a line on it somehow. I'm trying to make an unnatural line here. All right, there. This is my old concrete bucket, so up to that line about is what I need for two bags in that mixer. I thought I heard it leaking. <laughs> that would have been fun. That would have added some comedy to the day. Hey, did you know I call Maddie Moggs? Right? Right, Moggs? Yeah. Little fun fact for you guys. Okay, Predator. All right, don't embarrass me now. Let's see, on, choke. Way. So I think the strategy here is going to be mix two bags, dump it in the bucket, mix two bags, dump it in the bucket. I think I can fit eight bags in that bucket around and then take that shovel, scoop it out of the bucket for some precision placing. Or if not, I could, I guess I could just dump it in from the bucket. Oh shoot. That's not good. Nope. I don't want to lose the suction. There, how's that? short guys desperate times so let's either run to the store and get two bags of concrete which is going to take me at least an hour or let's throw some rocks in
We're getting there now. Scraping the mixer over there, trying to find some extra concrete just to finish off the top. It's like when you have a big bowl of nachos and you're trying to find that last piece of cheese. <laughs> all right, about 48 hours later, we are all cured up. As a matter of fact, it's starting to crack along the forms which is good sign that we are bone dry people and i got an interesting comment let me read it out loud to you guys uh we want meg we want meg we want meg that's all it says well here you go <laughs> <laughs> welcome meg welcome to the show what are we going to do today meg we gotta build up this wall yeah with block yep that's it. Meg's very blunt to the point. <laughs> so we're going to get some mortar mixed up. We're going to get these forms off. We're going to get some block run and then it could dry. We can start framing this thing up. Sound good, Meg? Yeah. Say it. Let's do it. <laughs> the two by fours should be screwed in. Maybe just put them on the form as we go. There you go. Me 
knock down all the nails in there? Yep. There's one more right there. Where you see it. Autumn's special task is just knocking these nails down so we don't step on something protruding upward. Give you guys a closer shot. That looks pretty good to me, guys. Looks nice. Not perfect bubble. Um, so this came out a little, eh. I'll just um, dress that up with some mortar, I think, because we're going to be doing mortar today. But we do have that horizontal steel support in here, pinned to the rock. The chicken king method with the clay worked well. And on this other side here, this looks pretty solid too. We got a really nice uh, product here. Let's go down by Meg. She wants me to come in here and check things out. Right, Meg? All right, let's check out the, ooh. That's cool, guys. Check it out. Now that the forms are off, can you give me a natural walk up the stairs? How's that? Meg, can I see you in the root cellar, please? Autumn, can you get out? Oh, sure. Get out. <laughs> Maddie, come here. Come here, Maddie. Good girl. See, all species and shapes and sizes and genders can uh, Enjoy the use the rocks. Yeah. All right, Meg, get out. Nice. How's that top step feel? It feels great. In comparison to the other rocks? Yeah, it's perfect. All right. Autumn, no problem. Yeah. Feel, feel no, pretty natural? Feel pretty natural? All right, good deal. Oh, Daddy, what are you doing? Gotta love the ceiling in here, huh? Still smells like a hamster, guys. It, it does. Yeah. Okay, form is unformed. Next up, let's get some block going. Let's get some mortar mixed up. And uh, we'll start getting that extra 16 inches of height on this thing. Yeah. All right, let's check out this clay chinking, guys. Let's remove it and see what it looks like underneath held up really well just need something to i need like something to chisel it out of there there we go and you know what i'm good with that that's cool there we go doesn't have to be perfect no get that that's pretty cool let's just build the form out of clay that's a cool texture, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I want to place that. Looks fun. Here. Oh. Comes out nice and easy. And, uh, good deal. Came out good. Dad, where did you find the clay? Over there. I dug it up. And then I added water to it. See if you hang out with me more. You can, you can learn all this stuff. We're doing two courses of three and a half blocks each. And then that's gonna leave us space here on the step to do the door. So we're gonna do both sides. We have a, we got a bucket and a meg ready to go. Ready. Mixed up our mortar. Let's try to get this up and uh, Meg is gonna try her task at uh, laying some mud. I'm gonna try. Um, a little runny, but comes right back to you. Right? You can't hesitate because it'll just it'll just fall off. Okay. okay, so like this, it's easier if you like reach across. You want to angle it in just a little, start at the tip and push down as you go. You need a lot more than that. Not bad. 
before you get it out of the bucket, yeah. tap it flat down. I did. It makes everything just kind of like set. Yeah. There you go. Good. Uh-huh. Good. Oops. The bar was in the way. I couldn't get the right angle. Yeah, everything's in the way when you're doing this. I grabbed the block so the thicker, so you could hold it. Yeah. See, if you try to hold it from the skinny side, it's a real toll on your hands. So I'm going to put it on here, and then this is going to go to the wall, and then the next block you would do the same side and scoot it into it. Okay. Yeah. Man, you you get pretty good at this, I can say. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. There's like a when you're doing inside, you keep it flat, and you do this twist at the last second, and just. What was the twist? You you get your mud. You flatten it out, right? And then when it's flat, you do a twist like this and get that tip at the right angle and just go down. Mm. All right, and I like to put a little glob at the bottom here. Now, the trick is, when you put this there, have this not fall off. Go fast. You gotta kind of do it at an angle. That's a good mud mixture, I'd say. It didn't fall. Now we have to put some... Get another block, another runner. Can we have to do this? No, it's going to go on the next block, just how it was. You don't have to. Do you want me to do the blocks? Where do, I put, where do I put this? Put that right here. So I can grab it with my left hand and put it in like this. Oh help me, help me, help me. Oh, Sorry. Jeez. I can't lift them. Okay. Well, let's just address this crummy side real quick. I think we didn't do five quarts, huh? I don't like that we're getting this all... Okay. See whatever side the bubbles on, like bubbles favoring that side, tap on the on the side. There you go.
What, are you using the back side? Yeah. Hey, whatever gets some mud on Is there. Is that right? okay? I don't care. Is that against the rules? They're not light, are they? No. Find up the outside wall, that's the most important. Find up. Yeah. Better. Meg, fantastic work. Meg laid every block. No, I did. Yeah, you did, Meg. All right, and most importantly, we have our trusty four footer. And we're good to go. We are going out for for Sizzler. Are there any more Sizzlers? Never been to one before. Me neither. All right, we got a um, couple cores to fill. One, two, three on each side. I think three. Jeez. Ooh, that was close. I almost like topped out right there. Um, before we fill the cores, we got to run and get the J bolts. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of rock work down in here. There's a couple little holes that we're going to use this mortar mix. Fill in those holes, make it make it smoother. Um, anything else? Like we Meg already patched up that honeycombing, and uh, maybe we could fill it in more on that rock. That's a technical term. Honeycomb. I don't know. Somebody told me I had bad honeycombing on my footers, so I looked it up. One time said, any reason why you didn't render the block? And I thought to myself, I was like, probably because I had to Google what rendering block is. <laughs> what does it mean? It means putting like a wet coat, like a skim coat over everything, like thin set almost oh. of mortar. And it- um, Now that we know what it is. It changes it from like this texture to a finer texture before you add your dry lock. But dry lock instructions say that you don't have to. So whatever, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Why didn't you render it? Probably because I don't know what rendering means. Yeah, define rendering please. Thank you. <laughs> Look at her, she's getting ready to pounce there. Whoa. Check my... Good. Okay. Meg. Hey Meg. What? Did you have fun? Sure. It was a good change? Get away from the desk and do some yeah. mud mixing. I like hanging out with you. Yeah, I miss you. And so does everybody else, apparently. Especially that one guy that started a chant in our comments section that says, We want Meg. Here I am. There you go, man. All right, Meg, wave bye and thank everybody for coming. Thank you for coming. I'm Meg. Thanks, guys. See you next time.
got like the orange little pieces. Of the, the mixer? The mixer in the... Meg, grab your yeah. trowel and thank our viewers for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Can we say something else? John, I think you're doing a fine job. Oh, thank you, Meg. Mm. But really, the thank goes to you for watching our very exciting video. That was the cheesiest closing ever. It, it was intentional. All right, while Meg shovels the into the hole, gonna we're going to catch... Move. like a mud pie. All right, while well, Meg finishes spanking this mud into that hole. <laughs> it's not that kind of channel, Meg. <laughs> All right, hey guys, thank you. From the bottom of the hill. No. Nope. Meg, come over here. I'm Make working. eye contact. Stop. Make eye contact. Okay. Okay, you ready? Meg, what's next? Why are you smiling? <laughs> what are you doing? I can't get her to stop to say goodbye. Bye. Wait, hold on the wind. John, I can't wait for things like wind. We got work to do.